What is up everybody, this is Always back with another video and today I'm starting a new course on Java JDBC. In this tutorial series we will learn how to connect to MySQL database using JDBC and how to read data and write data to our database. The database we're going to use is MySQL. You need a local installation of the server. I'll show you how to do that. I'll be using MAP, but there's another one, Examp. So it's up to you which one you want to use. So this is the first section of the course. I will teach you how to install a MAP, how to make sure that you have a proper JDK installed, and how to set it up over MySQL databases and how to create a username and password and how to access those database from JDBC. If you're a little confused at what I'm talking about, what is JDBC, and if you have never used a MySQL database before, then don't worry, I will take you guys from beginner to the level you can develop a proper application. I'm gonna have a proper project at the end of this course where I will develop one of the database software in Java using JavaFX or normal GUI Java using Swing library. All right, so the next thing you need to do, get your computer, stretch your body, relax, and get ready to code in Java. First thing we need to check, do we have a Java JDK installed in our PC? So you go to your command prompt or if you're using Mac then go to terminal and uh, type here Java space dash version and it will give you an answer. If you have a Java installed, it will tell you the version of Java. I have Java 1.8 which is the latest one. So make sure you have a Java 7 or above. Now we have a Java install and if you haven't installed Java in your PC, then now you need to go to Java JDK Oracle website actually. So maybe just go to Google and search for Java JDK. Java JDK download and you will get to the page where you can download Java and install Java. And if you want a tutorial on that, I have a tutorial how to install Java and set it up in Windows PC. Uh, check out the playlist of Java Essential Training on my channel. And the next thing we need is uh, MAMP server. So I'm just going to search for MAMP. I've already downloaded that and I've already installed that. But here I'm going to show you that you need to install this MAMP not the MAMP Pro because that's a paid version so just install this MAMP so once you install that download and install and then I'm just gonna start and I'll show you what is the setting you need to do and then we need so right now the MAMP server is installing I just want to show you that by default if I go to the preference and by default you might have a different port so right now the port is 3306 AD and AD. So if it's not that port, then you can click on set web and MySQL default port to this. It will change the port and then it will set it to this. So make sure you have these ports on. And the next thing we start the server, our server is working. We're going to be using MySQL database. So we need a connector for that. I want you to go to mysql.com website and in the download section you need to go to community and then we're gonna find mysql connectors so just click on that and then here you have the connector for .NET, Java, Node.js, Python, C++, all those languages. So we need a connector for Java. So just click on connector slash J. I'll use the zip file instead of tar file. So let's just download that. It's going to ask you to sign up. We don't have to sign up. You can click here. No thanks. Just start my download. It's going to download those uh, that file. And then, all right, so the JDBC connector file has been downloaded. The next step we need to do is create our database. In the map, click on open web page. It's going to take us to the browser and it's going to take us to this main page for the server. On this page, click on tools and then click on PHP MyAdmin, which will take you to PHP MyAdmin page. Here we will create a new database. So let's just click on this new and I'm going to name the database school let's create a database and I've actually already created some tables so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna import those tables so let's just go click on import 
I'll drop a link to this file in the description. Check it out if you are following along. Now, let's just click on choose file. We go to Dropbox and I have the file here. School. Now, let's just click on go. It's going to download that file and save those tables to the school database. Now, in the school database, we have this teacher. We have student table. So in the student table, I have few students here. We have four students and we have four teachers here. All right, so the database is done. And one more thing we need to do is how do we ac access this uh, database? We need to create a username for that. So if you go back to home and in the home, you will see user tab, click on that. And then here we have default users. I actually have my own username so DB user local host and I have the password for that but to create a new username you just click on add user and then name the username so I'll type always and then password we just type Mirza and then for the database privileges you select all so click on check all Now let's create our username and then click on go to create a username and we're finally done. I have already have one username named DB user and DB password. I might use that one but this is how you can create a username and this is how you can import the database we have here. So if you don't know how to create a database you can import the same database as I did. I'll drop a link in the description check it out you can download that SQL file and then just import that. All right, so now our database uh, functionality is done. We have created a database, what we're going to use for this course. We created a username, how, that's how we can access this database. And that's it for this video, guys. In the next video, we will learn how to connect to this database using that connector we downloaded from mysql.com. All right, so thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Chase.